Welcome, welcome. Well, we're back on blessing number 33 from the 66 Bountiful Blessing from Genesis to Revelation by T.D. Jakes. So let's go. And today Bible reading is taken from Micah chapter 7 verse 10 and it reads, Then my enemy will see it and will be covered with shame. She who said to me, Where is the Lord your God? My eyes will see her downfall. And, and this is from the New International Version. The topic for today's scripture is the last laugh. The adversary like to mock us while we're in the middle of a problem, waiting on God's promise to manifest. As time passes, his taunting thoughts and sneers increase to get us to yield to anxiety. We wonder, what if God doesn't come true for me? I can't tell you the number of times I've been on the brink of a heavy breakthrough and had to resist these kind of thoughts. While you're praying and trusting God to show up in your situation, the waiting time can leave you vulnerable to anxiety, as if you aren't aware of the enemy's static. He wants you to doubt God based on how long your struggle. He wants you to doubt God based on how long you struggled with your issue. If you struggle with a long-term fear, financial woes, addictions, or emotional problems, the adversary wants to overload you with shame. The good news is God is never late. His timing is perfect. Even though you may be dwelling with a lingering circumstance, your trouble has an expiration date. You will have the opportunity to mock your enemy. By faith, begin to laugh at the dark forces trying to rob you of your peace. You know your God is going to show up and you will have the last laugh. And the prayer for today is, by faith, I declare the Lord will not allow me to be put to shame. Even though I have struggled with long-term issues, trouble has an expiration date. I overcome every challenge. By the power of God's grace, I will have the last laugh. Amen. Oh my, I had a conversation with someone, it was about a month ago, before I left to come out on my birthday celebration. And we were talking about the situation that she was going through. And all what I could hear from her is a whole long list of all what could go wrong. Some of the things she was talking about, yes, it was valid. Some, it was not. And I had to stop and allow her to talk out all of these horrible things. And I said, after a while, it looked like she wasn't stopping. So I stopped her and said, okay, let's look at it. If it's possible, X, Y, and Z, if it's possible, but as I'm saying this, even when she agreed, by the time she agreed with me, right away was the butt. You could tell she was so focused and so convinced everything would have gone wrong that any sign or any encouragement or anything else that is different from this negative stand that she took, she was not entertaining. What I realized, I was like drying ice. I was fighting a losing battle. So I told her, I said, Okay, but well, let's see. All we could do is pray. And I eased myself out of that conversation. And ever so often, that's the position we're in. When we are in a situation, not only that we want it to finish quickly or end quickly, we want it to end yesterday or in fact never start it. Because in some cases, we will take this stand as, why me? Why this happening to me? I always suffer it. We don't want it to even start. And that's where all our doubts and fear creep in. But again, 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 I will tell you, have your frame of reference. If you write down your frame of reference, I always said this one of your foundational tools. If you write down your frame of reference, you might be once or twice, you might have to look into it. After a while, it becomes automatic. When situations pop up, who you would get worried, you would get stressed. But it won't take long that you will start reflecting. Oh, God came through here. He came through there. When I look at it, all right, it looked like, who knows? Like, for instance, I would be fired. 
But the last time I went through that, it was even worse. I didn't have the experience. I, I wasn't even certain about my position. At least now, some of the people like me. You always have more to add on to the last time that you went through that situation. And he brought you through. If we got a fair reference. If we don't have a fair reference, we are in order. Because... We will go down the road of things going wrong and then you will get this thing in your ears. But what if this happened? Well, if that happened, then you will suddenly find a situation. Oh, I read about this man or I read about this woman and several things off about what you read or what you heard because you don't even know the person's true story. You don't know everything. But suddenly whatever happened to them, it buy into this negative stand that you took and you go down the road, you will get the last laugh. I am telling you, you would get the last laugh. What you have to do is that you don't be laughing with a headache because when you stress yourself out, for certain I could tell you, you will get a headache and based upon your digestive system, you get an acid reflux, a whole lot of other stuff. But you trust God. He always come to you. And then another thing too, we might be going through hardship for something that we think should be happening. We should be holding on to that particular job. And if you really, really stop and be honest with yourself, you hate the job and you know you're supposed to be out of that job. But because now it's happening, what's going to happen? I'm going to be fired. I could remember I listening to Oprah in your time and she said, God just keep touching you on your shoulder. When you don't listen, he slap you across your head. Sometimes there was the slap you need to get. Being fired from the job because he been telling you that you know with every cell in your body that you're supposed to move. But if I left the job, what's going to happen? I'm going to go to new places. And I don't like the people. I might got to travel far. Whatever else you're telling yourself. What we have to do is trust our father. He and if his enemies, he will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Take it from me, it's always like that. It would. You just have to trust him. And as I'm telling you that, I'm talking to myself too. We have to remember, trust God in the process and everything is going to work out. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Returning subscriber or visitor, welcome also. If this video is serving any purpose in your life or this group of videos because we are at number 33 to have 32 before please share subscribe turn on your notification button so YouTube will let you know when a new video upload and we will talk later have a blessed day blessing number 34 is just around the corner take care bye